while we're on the topic of residential housing, we're going to jump right into what it's like to live on campus. Or like I said, we're actually surrounded by some dorms right now. The most common orientation for a first year student is going to be a triple room. So yourself and two other students. We house around 98, 98, 98 to 99% of our first year students and around 50% of the student body on campus. Like I said, that triple room is gonna be the most common for our first year students, but we also have singles, doubles, and even quads as well. Our apartments are on an application basis, which you can learn about more on our housing.ucsc.edu websites. That website also has virtual tours of all of our dorm orientation, so I highly recommend checking that out. That's how I found out what my dorm looked like before I moved in, so those, that's a super helpful resource. We have our University Town Center, which is a university-owned area of downtown Santa Cruz, right above a Five Guys. You can grab a burger and a milkshake and then head up to your room. I think that's a pretty nice setup. And then for our transfer students as well, we have our Porter Transfer Community over at Porter College, where one of the large dorm buildings is actually dedicated to our transfer student population. One of my good friends who's a transfer student actually lived there, and it's a really great way to meet a lot of fast friends and build that community with your fellow transfer students. We also have our EOP program or the Educational Opportunities Program. Students that qualify for EOP are first generation students or students who are the first in their families to go to college, a huge accomplishment, as well as students coming from historically low socioeconomic backgrounds. In terms of what it's like living on campus, as long as you don't bring a flat screen TV and every piece of clothing in your wardrobe, certainly an adequate space you can make work. In addition, we have themed housing here at UC Santa Cruz, which is really, really cool. Over at Stevenson College, one of our houses is Our Path, which is Rosa Parks African American themed housing. And there was actually a lot of peaceful protests and advocacy that went into that building. All of the buildings at Stevenson College are painted white, except for House 7, which is Our Path, and that is painted pan African colors. And all the decor inside prides black activists and black educators, which is really cool. We also have an outdoor recreation house over at Stevenson and an indigenous people's house over at Merrill College. If you're an avid gamer, we have gaming floors. And then one more thing I'll mention is that if you want to request to live on a single gender identifying floor, that is an option available to you. A couple of my female identifying friends chose to live on a single gender floor, but you can absolutely live on, on an all gender inclusive floor, which is what I did and felt totally comfortable. And then each dorm floor is going to have a communal bathroom. If you do have any issues with your housing or your roommates, your RAs or residential assistants are going to be a great resource. And they're students just like you. So, and they've been here for a little bit longer than you more than likely, and they know a lot about the campus. So if you're having any roommate conflicts, any issues with your housing, or you're just looking for a friend to talk to, your RAs are great. My RA, my first year MJ was absolutely amazing. She'd come check on me when I was feeling homesick, and she was a really great resource for me. So they're really awesome. And that's just a little bit about living on campus, but we're gonna go head over to the humanities and start talking about some academics. Mm -hmm.